Hey everyone, it's January 13th. That means that if today is your birthday, you share it with English convicted killer Jeremy Bamber, who was found guilty of committing the White House Farm murders. Uh, Bamber was born out of wedlock in 1961 to a preacher's daughter who was having an affair with a married man. He was put up for adoption and was taken in by a wealthy family six weeks later. A few years later, they adopted another child, giving him a sister. Their parents were very strict and devoutly Christian, and the children were sent to private schools. While his father wanted Bamber to take over the family farm, he had no interest in doing so and bounced from job to job trying to find his place in the working world. But his good looks and money earned him a reputation as a playboy amongst the women in town. His sister worked as a model and attracted lots of attention from men in London where she moved to pursue her career. She quickly got married and had twin boys, but her marriage fell apart and she found herself back at the farm living with her parents and her two sons. Bamber had moved in with a woman in a cottage paid for by his parents a few miles away. His father insisted that he take over the farm and went so far as to require that as a condition of receiving any inheritance in his will. This enraged Bamber, who also harbored deep resentment of his mother for sending him to a religious school. In August of 1985, he called the police to say that he had just received a call from his father saying that his sister had gone crazy with a rifle in their home. When police arrived at the farm, they found the bullet-riddled bodies of his parents, sister, and her six-year-old boys. His father had been shot and then beaten severely when the killer realized he wasn't dead yet. His mother was shot full of holes, and each of the boys had been shot in the head multiple times while sleeping, and one of them was still sucking his thumb. His sister was shot in the throat and found holding a semi-automatic rifle and a Bible. His sister was known to have a history of mental illness, and at first the police believed that she went berserk and shot up the family before, before turning the gun on herself. Bamber's behavior at the funeral just nine days later, however, raised eyebrows as he seemed to crave the spotlight. He later without, went out with friends for a meal that night, laughing and joking with them the whole time. He then told his girlfriend that he'd hired a hitman to carry out the murders, and she immediately reported that to the police. All their evidence was circumstantial, so he continued to live the high life, taking trips and living lavishly. Further investigation turned up a silencer that was used on the gun, which meant that his sister couldn't have shot herself due to it being placed in a cabinet on a different floor than her body while still having traces of her blood on it. Police now theorized that Bamber carried out the horrific crime himself, and he went on trial in 1986. A jury believed the prosecution, and Bamber was convicted and was given five life sentences. There are some who believe he was wrongfully convicted and campaign for his release to this day, but all of his appeals and requests for parole have been denied. So if this was your birthday, I hope you had a good day. And if it's not, but you know somebody's birthday it is, please send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And happy birthday, you bastard.